I've had a few people ask me when the next episode is. It's now episode three, baby. All right, listen, a lot has happened. We've done a visual overhaul. We've added ammo and reloading, recoil and bullet spread going. I've got user interface elements. Pause menu with some sick animations. And I've added a new enemy. And on top of a new enemy, I've added a new friend to the project. So I've got a I've got a guy who's helping me do things. You'll meet him in the next episode, I'm sure. But right now, I just want to take you over what's going on. First thing you'll notice is look how bright the sky is, and look how different things look. I mean, if I just real quick magically that's what the game looked like before. This is what the game looks like now. We've added cell shading. So if you look at my drone friend here, uh, you can see there's sort of the thin black outline, but more importantly, the way that the shadows are calculated is different. I think it works really well with the simple shapes, the basic polygons that I'm using uh, to make my models. Right now I'm just using an asset from the Unity Asset so Store. It's called Flat Kit. I'll put a link down there uh, if you want to download it if you're making your own unity game it's pretty good uh, if I have to write my own shader I will but this works it just does the things it works it's fine now the other thing you will notice is that the user interface looks a little bit different in the sense that there actually is a user interface now um, we've got some health points down the bottom left we've got some ammo in the bottom right I can shoot and I can reload and the ammo changes the other thing is Oh my god, we have recoil and bullet spread, right? It works, and that's pretty cool. So, if I shoot nice and slowly, my grouping is quite tight. You can see that there. And if I try and shoot faster, boom, 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 it kind of goes all over the place. That little hexagon is showing you where your bullets are going to hit. So if I stand here, uh, you can see that hexagon moves to where the bullets will actually impact and it also shows the spread. Let me take you through how the spread is actually calculated. This is the first time that I've showed you my code. Please don't judge me. This is a little bit messy, but it works. I do what I gotta do to make things happen. I do what I gotta do. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So in the shoot function, get the forward direction, add some rotation to that forward direction based on the current value of this spread variables. Every time we shoot we also increase the value of this spread variable. So the faster you shoot the worse the spread is going to be. Not only does the spread increase it also goes down every frame. So in the update function every frame we reduce the spread back down to the base spread value at a certain speed. We've got a bunch of variables which dictate how the bullet spread works for that particular weapon. Here we've also got the recoil values which are different so if i increase this vertical recoil that's the actual vertical movement of the camera the cool thing is when i add more weapons later on all i really have to do is play around with these little values and it changes how the gun will behave completely now i want to show you something else that's very cool which my friend made i didn't make this this is all my friend if I hit the P key, bam, we've got a pause menu. And it's even got this really cool little animation and I just love doing this, I think it's great. You can get some pretty cool live action shots if you time this right, like, I mean, oh, look at that. I don't really know how it works because I didn't write the code. All I know is that he's somehow managed to stop time itself, which is pretty impressive. We also have the drone dying if I shoot it enough goes away uh, ignore the bullet holes staying there that's that's not a bug it's a feature I've added a little sniper turret and I'm really excited to show him to you boom this is him all right he is great he is excellent look at him isn't he just f oh he's fabulous oh, I love him so much there he is all right if he spots me that's when the exciting stuff happens oh my goodness isn't that cool Look at his legs. All right, I am just, I am way too proud of this. Let me explain how this guy works. So first thing is, 
I implemented inverse kinematics for his legs. This is how the sniper turret behaves when he is near a step. I have basically created a script, which means that his leg placement is automatic. I don't need to deal with it, he'll do it for me. So if I move him around, you can see his legs move and he starts walking. Oh my god, isn't that just the coolest damn thing? I'm way too proud of this man. The leg placement, like I said, it's all automatic. Now the other thing is, we've got this little target which is where he's aiming at and I can move this around as well and you can see that he will bend and try and follow this target and if I move it around he will take the necessary steps to continue aiming at that target. You can see those little green circles and basically all I'm doing is I'm drawing a line directly down from each circle and that's where the turret's foot should be and if the distance between that point and the current foot placement gets too big then he moves his foot. Let me show you an example. This little green circle here, imagine you drew a line directly down from that. As I move this forward, the distance between that spot and where the current foot is increases. When that gets too big, you can see he takes a step. He puts his foot there. And we just basically do that for every leg and you can see he starts to walk. This is great because it means now in my code, I can just change the position of the actual enemy and his legs will just move for me. It's great, I don't need to do anything. This is a technique called procedural animation um, and I'm honestly quite surprised that I managed to get it looking this good this quickly. So much that still needs to be done we need to do level generation we need to add more enemies i want to add new weapons i want to add pickup systems it's it's a big deal but i'm trying to get this game to a playable state as quickly as i can and as soon as it's at a playable state i will release a free version for you guys i'm going to try and start doing these videos more regularly um, and just kind of keep the updates coming so that everyone knows what's going on i've had a few people ask me when the next episode is it's now Please press the subscribe button if you want to see more of this fantastic game written by the best programmer in the universe. Smash that like button. Smash that dislike button if you really want to. Add some comments down there. You know, tell me how your day is going. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around, man. I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. That's it. I'm out.